Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today is part two of a two-part series, Scrapping Computer Towers for Great Scrappable Metal. In my other video, I focused more on the larger items. There's a lot of great tin shred around the case, as well as the different boxes that hold your CD drive um, and other items. There is some great extrusion, which comes off of your aluminum heat sinks. There is some really nice number two copper that comes off of some circuit boards. Today what I want to focus on is more of your micro scrapping precious metals. There is a lot of gold inside these computer towers. There's some palladium, there's some silver. And what you also see behind me is I have my laptop set up. Some of my viewers asked different places that you can sell these items. In the United States, there's a website called boardsource.com. Here in Canada, the source that I have is called Golden Money. It's based out of Toronto, Ontario. I am going to bring it up to the computer or to the camera in a couple minutes. The nice thing about this is it also shows pictures and prices they will pay per poundage. So a couple items that I do want to address first is it does depend obviously on your quantity of the material that you want to sell. If you only have one CPU chip, for example, or one RAM stick, because it is based on poundage, it's not worth your while to ship this stuff to uh, Toronto, to this uh, warehouse and get paid for that because you're going to get dinged on shipping prices. Other options, I have seen people sell, for example, RAM sticks and CPU chips and motherboards on Kijiji or eBay. People will buy these things, especially computer hobbyists or people that rebuild computers. Um, so that is definitely another option. As well, another option, if you don't like either of those choices, is to bring your circuit boards into a scrapyard and get e-waste price. The scrapyard I go to in Sarnia, Ontario, gives about five cents to six cents a pound for all the circuit boards. Doesn't matter what's on them. You do want to check, depending on your region, country, province, scrapyard, some scrapyards will pay you based on the material that is found on your circuit boards. They will give you low grade, medium grade, high grade. The more gold on it, or if there is gold on it, obviously more precious metal, they will give you higher value. So you definitely want to check. Either way, it's definitely better than going to the landfill. And one word of caution, I definitely want to say to people, especially in my area uh, or scrapyards that only give five cents for all of it, it is well worth your while taking off the copper from like the circuit board. As you can see there, there's some really nice copper windings here. There are what I call the copper donuts. You definitely have to remove the copper from this, but this copper is gonna go for number two copper, which is $4.45 a pound. There are a couple of them on here, as you can see. There are also on other circuit boards, um, some aluminum heat sinks, as you can see here which is extrusion. This extrusion is gonna go for $1.38 a pound. So you're definitely gonna get more money separating these items than bringing it in as whole and getting five cents a pound. So definitely that is the first thing I wanna say. The second thing, I do also wanna make a correction. On my last video, I mentioned one of these boxes that come out of my computer tower. And I mentioned that this wire was going into my 60% copper recovery pile. Uh, one of my viewers pointed out that uh, this is actually not copper and upon further investigation, I also came to the same conclusion. This is actually aluminum winding. So unfortunately, this is not gonna go into my 60% copper recovery. Some scrap yards will take all wire and give you about a low grade value, which is about 60 cents a pound, which isn't bad at all. I have actually thrown a couple of these into my 40% copper recovery, my last load that I went to the scrap yard and I was paid $1.23 for a pound. So again, unfortunately this is not copper and I appreciate the correction and comment from one of my viewers. So thank you very much for that. Uh, the next thing, I am gonna talk about some of the precious metals that some micro scrappers do get uh, from circuit boards. But the thing about this source uh, or website is they only buy circuit boards and chips that have gold on them. Okay, as you can see, I have a couple vials here and I have kind of done some micro scrapping. Um, 
if I take, for example, the main motherboard here, as you can see, very recognizable. It always has an aluminum heat sink on it. This one, it has a fan. Uh, there is copper underneath. The one that I've already showed you, this one is just pure aluminum um, as well. I have another one. These ones I love to get. This has the copper ingot inside of it, and I've already removed one of them. This is eight ounces of copper. This is a nice find. Uh, I would love to find more of those, but I don't. But there are some good things on these circuit boards that some micro scrappers will take. And I am going to very quickly point that out. I have to find my little pointy stick. There it is. Um, and there are different places on your computer tower you're going to find circuit boards. Uh, a lot of times, so you'll have your CD drive here that's got your disc. You'll have your motherboard. You'll have some of the older ones that have your uh, floppy disk. All of these do contain circuit boards and a lot of gold, okay? But before I get to the gold, one thing I do want to point out is your crystal oscillators. So crystal oscillators, if I look at this motherboard, you can see one there, there is one there, there is one there, okay? Some of them, like this one, you can see there is a larger one here. That is a larger crystal oscillator. These actually do contain silver, uh, some silver inside of them. And as you can see, I do collect them. I will put them into a vial. Unfortunately, this source, uh, Golden Money, does not buy these, but I just store them up. I have seen people sell these on, in bags online. Uh, so crystal oscillators. Another thing people will sell as well are MLCCs. Um, and I don't have a lot of them in here, but MLCCs are also on circuit boards. If I showed the circuit boards right here, very easy to recognize. I'm going to bring this one up to the camera here. Um, right here, these are MLCCs. And the ones that were put in before the 90s were actually made of palladium. Palladium, sorry, 25% palladium and about 75% silver. After the 90s, some of the manufacturers have replaced the palladium with nickel. Um, so some people will take them off. Um, but as I said, very easy to recognize. They have like the brown stripe and the two silver ends. They also, if you look at the code, they will start with this one says, for example, C270, uh, C, what's this one say? C369. Um, and they come in different sizes. So there's a couple here. There's a couple smaller ones right over here. Um, and some people will scratch these off. And they're very easy to do. All you need to do is take a flathead screwdriver. Uh, that's what I use. Some people use a knife. And actually just slide it across. Um, and uh, they will come off. You do want to be careful though. Some place. So here's another scrapyard. Or sorry, another circuit board. Here it looks like them. But... They are not the same color. Just because they're a little box does not mean they're MLCCs. And also it starts with TC, blah, 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 C, TC, and then a number. So be careful on those. Um, again, I don't collect a lot of them. I just wanted to do that for the, the video. Another thing I have seen people take are your ceramic capacitors. They come off of all circuit boards. They are your orange ones, they're blue ones. There is a little bit of silver in these as well, um, but again, the online source like this does not take these. They will only take gold chips. Um, and what I want to do right now is obviously look at some of the gold chips that we have. Um, hopefully, if I turn this camera, you can see a number of different items. And I am going to bring this up to the camera right now just to show you, uh, hopefully, the glare. I'm going to turn this a little bit. There is a little bit better. So there is prices. Uh, and it depends on your manufacturer, it depends on region. I have not come across any of these chips yet, unfortunately, that have the gold on the top. I've seen E-Waste Ben have lots of these. Um, but there are, you can see some chips right there. There's some CPU chips. There's your prices, uh, different boards. There's some RAM sticks that have the gold on them. There's some that have the tin on the top. There are some RAM sticks that some people will remove the gold fingers. There are your CD uh, ones as well, uh, different chips. I'm just going to scroll down. I see chips right there that have the metal on the top. There are some gold fingers, gold pins. 
And what I want to do today is actually kind of go through some of those. Uh, as you can see, I have a little vial of gold pins right there that I take off. They're very easy to do. Um, and as I said, biggest thing, and I was kind of impressed uh, with myself, my dad has shown me so much uh, over the years. It was nice to actually help him out. Uh, I was over at his house uh, over Christmas and he did remove the aluminum heat sink and he was like, oh, look, here's the motherboard. And I looked at him and I said, oh, you didn't realize that if you open that up and pry, uh-oh, got to get that chip out, it's stuck. There's sometimes a glue on it. There we go. There we go. You can see a really nice CPU chip. As you can see, I turned that to the camera. That is gold pronged. And the difference is, as you can see, I have a variety here. This has the um, metal backing on it. There is also this white stuff, and I've been told that this does have a little bit of silver uh, in the putty. Some people will scrape that off and put it into a container. Um, I don't do that. I actually just wipe it off uh, because I don't want it all over my hands and all over my garage. But a really nice CPU chip that has gold in it. And another one that you will find is actually on the motherboard, there will always be a smaller aluminum heat sink. So if I'm going to, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a screwdriver and pop that one up. That's what I'm going to do right now. Turn that for you. Hopefully you can see that. So very easy to do. Um, very easy tools. All you actually need uh, to scrap these is, in my opinion, a pair of side cutters is a good one, as well as a pair of uh, tin snips. So there is another aluminum heat sink. Underneath that, you can see there is another chip. So these chips are also, there is a little bit of gold in those, so those will also be something bought on this website, okay? And another one, if I take up right here, this is another circuit board. There will be a chip under here. Here is another chip. These are easily recognizable. You can see there is always a small little corner of gold there. Very easy to take off. Again, all I'm gonna do is take a flat head screwdriver and a hammer. And I'm actually just going to put it up against my side here and just going to hit it. So it's right here. I'm just going to slide it under. Make sure I turn my angle. There we go. So there is my chip ready to go. There you, I'm sorry, with my finger. There you go. There's the gold on it. There you go. Okay. So it's going to go in my pile. I actually cracked this one, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry. So I, uh, I must not have had my angle right, unfortunately. But the nice thing is you can see these chips, they're all the same. That's going to go in my bloopers, which is great. So nice, recognizable. And these are actually going for... Uh, they do not have the metal on top. These are going for $25 dollars a pound another style you're going to see is the one that has the um, uh, uh, metal on top of it these are actually a little bit lower value these are going for twelve dollars a pound okay so the ones that have no metal those are ic chips from boards without heat sinks okay so that is great same thing my cpu chips i do have two different styles here so i have one this is an older style that has nothing in the middle. I have another one that has, actually I have three styles. There are the pins. I have another one here that, there's your metal on the back. Inside, if I turn it, you don't see the pins, but it is gold. And there are, looks to be like MLCCs in there as well. Okay, so three different ones. As you can see, obviously all of these come from a different computer tower. There's probably 12 ounces here easily. Um, varying degrees, okay? Ram sticks, as I said earlier, ram sticks, easy to find. Sometimes when you open your computer tower, you're gonna find, you know, two or three on here. Here's one that I have. Here's a motherboard here. There's another one of those chips uh, that I have. Um, easy to take these motherboards out. 
Look at that, there are two motherboards, or sorry, RAM sticks, okay? These RAM sticks, I'm gonna bring it in like this because they have gold on it. Um, this one, as you can see, different style, has a bunch of chips on it. Some people, if you cut the gold off, again, there's different prices. Uh, the ones with the gold are $7.50, no, sorry, $15 a pound for the RAM gold plated. The ones that are cut off are a dollar a pound, so obviously it's better, in my opinion, to keep them together. And I have a box of these that I've been keeping, which is great. Other ones that you're gonna see are the side. Um, these are coming out of your, um, your USB port or your different connectors. As you can see, a lot of really nice gold pins there, as well as some gold plated here. So they will buy these as is for about $7.50 a pound. One thing that I do like to do, on, especially on these ones that have the phone jack, uh, this one, as you can see, there is the crystal oscillator, there is some, uh, the gold plated teeth, there is also the phone jack, and the phone jack has gold pins inside of it. So I actually do take those out. Um, I'm actually gonna show it on this one here. Uh, I think, where's my screwdriver? I wanna just open this one up. Okay, and I actually will take the gold pins out of these ones. Okay, uh, make sure it slides out. Oh, there's the box underneath. Okay. Um, and the other one too that some people will forget is your USB ports. So as you can see, this actually came out of this. Look at the nice teeth on that. So I actually do cut those off. Very easy to do. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna, first of all, show you just how easy it is to cut these pins off. And it does say on this website, if you are gonna cut the gold off, it has to have very little plastic left. So look how nice and easy. I just take a pair of uh, tin snips. Watch how easy this is to cut. And I just lost it. There it is right here. Okay, so there it is. And I usually do it on top of the table so it doesn't fall off, but I will bring this in now like that. There's not much plastic on it. If I really want to make it uh, better, I could always just use a pair of side snippers and actually cut a little bit of that plastic off, but these are your gold um, plated uh, types of pins. Uh, and again, going into, there is my um, phone jack, if you will. Look at how nice that is. All I do for that is I will actually just take a pair of, or a, a knife or a flathead screwdriver and just pull those pins up. As you can see, very easy to do. Okay, just picking up those pins. And I am gonna do a little bit of work with this, but all I'm gonna do is actually use my side cutters. Once I remove that plastic, these will fold up. And actually, I'll take it right now, I don't wanna lose any of this gold, but show you how to do it because this is all educational purposes. As you can see, turn that camera, there are my gold pins. So I will take these and I will put them into my gold recovery, and look how nice those gold pins are. So this gold right here, uh, again, I'm holding on to this because I may not bring that gold in, probably not for a while, especially with gold prices continuing to sky, but gold pins, if you will, are going for 10 to $20, and sorry, these fingers that you just saw me cut off, these side fingers, these are going for $45 a pound. So. Again, looking at this circuit board, easy to take off. Um, I can bring it in as is. I always remove the pins, I will take those off, but I can sell this for $7.50 a pound as well. So it, again, it depends on you, 
depends on your preference. Um, your floppy disks that you see here, they always have a circuit board that you see right there. This circuit board, once I remove the screws out of it, there it is. This is going for $7.50 for that circuit board. Um, as well, the last one I want to mention is your CD-ROM. The projector that you will see, sometimes if you remove the tab here, you'll notice that that is the silver metallic color. So this is not gonna have gold in it. Another one I have right here, however, is this one right here. Here's another CD-ROM, same thing. Okay, if I look at it, there's a crystal oscillator. There is right here, just gonna show you, that's my projector. But if I pull this pin, pull the ticker tape, if you will, turn it around, you can see that is gold as well. Inside, that is gold as well. So what I do with that is I will actually just cut that out. I will put this plastic with the gold pins into a container and I will just hold that as well. Um, hopefully when I take all my gold and stuff into uh, this facility, they might give me just a, a base price for that. Or maybe future plans that I have will be to uh, refine it myself um, and figure out how much, I gold ha how much gold I have there. So those are options. Again, lots of great gold that you find here. Definitely easy, easy to take off the pins. As I said, last demonstration, just take the plastic, lift it up. It's just gonna feed through once I start playing with it. Uh, that's why side cutters are so nice. Okay, but you can see, just gonna pull it. It's coming off. Look at that, sliding off. Plastic. Okay, so it does take a little bit of time, but as you can see, some really nice gold pins. So hopefully you found that video informative. Again, lots of gold on there. Depending on your micro scrapping hobby or your collection or your quantity, great options to sell your gold and circuit boards. As I said, gold money in Toronto, boardsource.com board in the United States. Hopefully you found it informative. Hopefully it gave you a couple uh, tips and tricks. Please comment down below like, share, subscribe. This video is gonna air on New Year's Eve, uh, which is uh, definitely wanna wish all of my viewers and friends a very happy New Year. Please, hopefully 2022 brings peace, joy, health, happiness. Stay well, happy scrapping. 10 men out.